is our friend. Ah! I was just about to say there was a second one. There we go. Nice. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games of Cakes and welcome to Volcanoids. Volcanoids is a survival game. It's a kind of a unique twist um, in which you have to survive in this drill, underground worm drill thingy on an island where there's volcanic activity and every now and then a volcano erupts and there's robots on the island as well. You can see it there coming out of the ground. And it's pretty cool. You do the crafting, the mining, the resource gathering, all that jazz. And you have all the machines you need on this station, on this worm, and you have to build them, you have to improve them, you interact with them. It's actually pretty cool. I already played it a little bit uh, to see what it's all about because it is a little bit more complex than your standard survival game where you just go and hit a tree. You don't punch trees. You, um, you have to use your tools, but with the way you craft things is a little bit more complex. Anyway, we're going to have a look at it. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Madrenos used to be a wondrous place, a rich and prosperous island home to a busy trading port. But that was not meant to last. It began when strange formations like giant soil tracks started to appear across the island. No one was able to explain how they were made. Soon after the formations appeared, earthquakes followed. Weak at first, they grew more frequent and more violent. A few days later, three volcanoes erupted in the island lagoon. Hurling stones, sinking ships, crushing buildings. Captains feared for the safety of their vessels. All trade stopped. People left Adranos aboard fleeing ships. The brave few who had remained soon regretted their decision. An enormous volcano that lay dormant for centuries erupted, flooding the island with a pyroclastic wave, covering it with lava and hurling stones miles away. Those who had made it to the ships were evacuated, myself among them. What we left behind was an apocalyptic landscape of fire and dust. Periodic eruptions turned our beautiful home into a hellish nightmare, disrupting both naval and aerial traffic for years. Despite their best efforts, not even the best imperial geologists were able to explain the volcano's sudden appearance. Several years later, exiles from Adranos secured funding for an expedition to return to the island and discover what happened. It was my honor to serve as the captain of the Archimedes submarine. As we surfaced a safe distance from Adranos' shore, we knew that this expedition to reclaim our homeland had only just begun. Yeah, you can see all these robots there on the loading screen, so... They are maybe the reason they have these volcanoes. I actually have no idea. I didn't watch this before. I just went into the game to play around a little bit with it. And here we are on a ship. Yes, this is actually a ship. You can see it here. And we are on an island. And this island here, there's the volcano. It erupts every now and then. You can see the timer in the middle on the top. It's erupting in 10 minutes and 24 seconds. And you have your quest on the top right. And your action bar in the middle and your health in the bottom left so this is our captain here that we're gonna have to talk to that could have been that could be possibly the narrator i have no idea here you have the different stations and, and we're gonna get into that uh, doing the quests for the captain that introduces us to use all of them um they are a little complex in the sense that you have to turn them on to get power but you can't use too much power because your ship only has that much power or later on your drill so there's kind of a balance to be struck but um let's get started with the captain and with the quests and go from there so we can see what it's all about we also have some lockers actually here with um oh med kit heals players okay so we have medical kits in here i'm not going to take all that out yet because i have only limited space in my inventory we have another 20 bullets we have some module repair kits very good i like it and down here we have oh some sulfur powder and some copper ingots nice might actually take them out and down here we have storage there's nothing in the storage in the moment is there no there's not and then here we have i don't know what this is a repair station or something i have no idea and there's a door here oh wow okay so this is just an empty room we can possibly use as a storage room but um yeah we're gonna get chased off the ship very soon now anyway so let's talk to the captain to get our first quest 
Craft the core. Craft drill ship cores. A good, a good day, sailor. Before we can continue with the expedition, you have to construct a device. Follow the given objectives and you will soon be piloting your own drill ship. Main quest objective, get the ship's core upgrades to player inventory. Okay, so this here is the map of the game. So we have node soils, node sandstone, node granite, um, land side. So we have the different landing site connections. Again, a lot of that doesn't make sense to me just yet, and I assume will come over time. Mission objectives are here. We are down here in the bottom. And um, yeah, my face is over some of the description. Uh, the red lines are node connections. The blue lines are landing site connections. The dots with the numbers beside it are landing site numbers. And then you have the yellow triangles, which are mission objectives. The red triangles, which are refinery technology. And then the green ones are research technology. And the blue ones are production technology. So leave and gather resources so we're gonna have to go and gather resources straight away also this here is like loading and save so this is just game uh, interaction it doesn't work right now um i don't know if that actually works from here anyway these seem to be all disabled and here go up and go down but we're not going to go on the submarine anyway so we're not going to stay here so let's go outside and oh yeah and this here is your periscope so you click on that it's weird you click on it to look through the periscope of the boat but you actually get this weird outside view um from like weird position just so you can oversee everything which is which is cool because you can see the eruption for in safety which is great so you can see what it actually does okay so let's go outside and gather resources so press two to get your mining pick there we go we have an inventory here which uh, tab we have objective uh, inventory online inventory character online inventory shows items which are available on all deployed cargo modules Okay, most control stations use online inventory for item production. So I'm assuming that means between different ships and drills, if we put it in the online storage, everything can access it. Okay, something like that. Maybe even cross vehicle. That would be pretty cool. Oh, look at that. We have nodes here. They show up on the map. A, mi a coal node and a mining node. Oh, here we have some scrap. There we go. We can hit that. we we'll get some scrap. What do we get? Copper scrap metal. Very nice. Can we go into the buildings actually to explore? No, we can't. So here we go, we're nearly there. We have a stamina bar as well on the bottom left, the green one. And here we have some copper. Now I don't know what the uh, refresh rate is on the copper in the sense once it's all gone, it's gone. Um, I don't know how long it takes for that to respawn. We need a 20 copper, we have 20 copper, let's go over to the coal. And the notes don't seem to be random, they seem to be pretty much um, every time here so this is where always the the the, the coal mine the coal notes are, and this is where always the metal ones are there's more across the island but i would assume that yeah we can't zoom in and out of the map so it's this area here so i assume if you're looking for these type of resources just go back every now and then and uh, check for respawns here we go we have some scrap can we just pick this up actually no we have to actually mine it okay the other tools we have, by the way, are the wrench. And the wrench, as you can see on the bottom right, left click will place items, remove items with the right click, and a mouse will next item. So with this, actually, once we build certain modules, we can place them into the uh, walls of the vehicles that we're in, which is pretty cool. We don't need that right now. Anything else? No. Okay, so let's go back to the boat or to the submarine that we're currently on. You can jump into the water, but you can't swim yet, which means you actually just... Yeah, i show you now. So you, you can't swim. Yeah, so you just jump. Um, I don't think you're drowning. I don't think there's no drowning meter or anything, so there's no water meter. I think it's just water. That's it. There's no effect in the moment, I believe. Though I wouldn't want to walk all the way out and see what happens. Like, well, maybe we can do that, doing some shenanigans at some point on a separate safe. Currently, the way game the way the game saves and loads is pretty cool. You just can save, boom, there you go. Pick a slot anytime and save any way you want, which is really great. I like that about games, especially when you're trying to figure them out and they're a little more complex and you don't know when you have to take a break. So that's pretty cool. So deploy the storage module. Go to the storage module and click left mouse button or E. So this it has these labels here to show you what it is. This is the storage module. This is how you access the inventory of the storage module. But storage modules have to be deployed now if you look at the power here you can see the different uh, modules i suppose we have installed this is the core module we have currently installed we have no engine module and you can see we have um inventory of target objectives we have nothing here this is my character inventory over here 
and that's the upgrade. So you can look at different inventories. So here you can see that currently your core slots are 0 of 100. We have 200 energy and we have no, the balance displays kind of how much energy we have making or producing compared to how much energy we're using whole i don't really know so once we click on that we're bringing this thing online and bringing it online will take up core slots there you go it's moving now and now we can actually use the storage facility so it's just costing us energy that's it so or five core slots so if we're going to go into here, it now wants us to deposit the copper so we can just um, right click and it wants us to do the call. There you go. Very nice. And oh, quest window. Press L key to review the quest window. Okay, here we go. Craft drill ship. Good day, Sailor. Before we can continue, that's just showing you where your um, quest text is. And now it wants you to deploy the storage module. We already done that. Deploy the power module. Go to the power module on the ceiling and click it. So this here is the power module that's installed into the ship. You can see the little icons here. It has like a power icon. So we deploy that as well now. The core slots have gone up to 10 out of 100 now. Now the refinery module is the next thing I'm going to have to bring online. And there you go. Now the refinery doesn't seem to take up core slots. Does it or does it take up core slots? I don't know. Was it less than that before? But energy is now going down. There you go. We make a little bit of energy now. And then we're spending a little bit of energy. So I suppose the power module kind of gives us energy when it's on, as it says there. And this and the other one actually using resources. So there you go. Once you get to, 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 to 200... It kind of stops producing energy until it gets below a certain point and then it starts producing again and i think you only get five energy or something anyway wait until the eruption is over um use the periscope to see what is happening hide from the volcano and quest core craft a core refine a copper um click the menu button to refine copper in the station so where's the refinery there we go we click the menu and we now click on the copper. There we go. And that's it. You can hover over it and you can see that it takes one copper or for one craft. Let's make only one more because we actually have 10 copper down here in this uh, draw. So and I think maybe... Oh, look at that. We can access this from down here as well. That's pretty cool. And maybe we can just place that into the storage of it. Where's the storage of it? Did it go into our online storage or something? Yeah, it went into the storage. So we just put that in and there you go. That's 12. Very good. We didn't have to craft them all. Now, deploy the production module. Go to production module on the wall. So now this is all for making resources. The refinery is like taking the, res the raw resources, um, like in a lot of other games. And you can actually program them from here, how much you want to craft, which is kind of insane. And you can turn it off if you want, which I assume if you turn it off, let me see, 2100. If we turn it off. Oh. Here we go, it's erupting now in a minute. Is it still using energy even though it's turned off? Oh, it is. It's really weird. All right, okay. So let's go to the production module and click the menu. And we have to deploy it. So it's actually not on. So let's deploy it. There we go, production module. And now we're at 30 out of 100. And here's the volcano. So if we're going to check out this now, you can see the, the volcano erupting. There you go. Looks actually pretty cool. And now everything just goes black. Like this whole wave of the volcano is going around the island now. And I believe if you're outside at the time, which I haven't tried yet, your your ass is grass. Like your toast. In here is nuclear winter. No, it's not. So whatever the volcano does, it does. And then everything goes back to normal in a little while. So that doesn't stay like that forever. Okay, so now we have to go to the production menu. And... We can now select what we want. So we can make upgrades, which is the drill shop core here, actually, which you can see here. But we need um, two copper ingots for that. Oh, we can actually make that um, if we want to. Components, consumables, which is like repair kits or breach replacements. 
So it's like when you've broken walls, you can fix them and repair them with these breach replacements. And this is module repair kits, which is the modules we're interacting with. Then you have tools that you can make, which is actually, wow, a hand grenade. It requires copper tubes, copper plates, and sulfur powder. And then we can do med kits as well, which is sulfur powder and shotgun, which definitely, oh, it only needs copper tubes. Okay. And then we can make ammo. Here we go. Shotgun ammo, sulfur, of course, copper balls and sulfur and copper balls and sulfur. They actually use the same exact amount of resources. That is a bit weird. You just select, you just decide what ammo you want. And then here we have the modules themselves. So here we can make a power module if we want. We can make a window module, um, door module, all these shenanigans. Um, the power module is here, the refinery tier, the research module, all that stuff. A turret module is pretty cool. Turrets automatically shoot enemies in range. That is pretty nice equipment and here we can make different types of equipment so we can make stations production stations banners so some of the items are decor items we can make work tables a target selector a state selector a ship core state okay so there's a lot to it already in this game now we have we can make copper doors we can make floors we can make ladders we can make walls and we can make windows if we want to so we have a lot of options here now what the game wants us to do in the moment right now is to make a uh, copper bolts so we're gonna go to components we're gonna make two copper bolts secure them up then we want to make four copper plates and two tubes there we go once that's all done oh we don't have four queued up there we go once this is all done, they are actually in our storage here as well, which is very good. Now, produce the ship core. Click the main menu on the production station. There we go. I suppose it's upgrade. Drill ship segment. Online cargo. No, we don't need the segment. Drill ship core. Yes, that's the icon. That's what it wants us to craft. So we craft one of those. Then it wants us to craft two bridge replacements. One two and it wants us to make the production module and the refinery module oh look at that we can actually if we click on something that's mid crafting it stops oh that's why we ah yes 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 that makes sense now because i thought i queued up four of the other plates but because we interrupted it halfway through like it didn't finish okay that makes sense all right, now that that's done, it's loading up the energy. You can skip, it's just for us to read, I suppose. Uh, you can skip this message by pressing enter. Energy is needed to have production running. Look at the core stats panel. Energy indicator shows available points. A balance indicator shows the difference between input and output. If you have no power plants open, energy will go down and balance will be negative. If enough power plants are open, energy will go up and balance will be positive. There you go. So it's kind of explaining about what we're looking at. And here's the menu for that. We already knew that. So, okay, let's continue. Every open module occupies a slot. Core slots indicator shows you available number of slots. If you reach the limit, you won't be able to open any more modules. You first have to close modules to open others. You can skip this match by press and enter. Okay. Now, we have to close the refinery module. So we're going to do that. And that gives us a little bit of energy back, I suppose. Look at the module and click the left, left mouse. Red light indicates closing, production, refinery, search, consumer energy when open. Make sure you close them if not needed. And now here we go. It's the refinery, is it? I'm gonna disable that. Very good. I like it. Nice. All right, we have closed modules. Uh, energy bar is full. Balance has no negative output. You can skip to the message by pressing enter. More slots are now available. If we open the modules, they will be occupied again. You can skip this message by pressing enter. All right, what is next? Uh, pick ship core from storage. Okay, walk over to the storage. And now we need to take uh, the ship core out. Okay. We want to take the breach replacements out. And we want to get the production and the refinery module. Excellent. We want to take all that out. That's brilliant. Now we have to talk to the captain again. Claim drill ship. Accept quest. So our quest is now automatically completed. So there was no, your quest is completed as far as I could see. So we have a question mark here which shows you a little bit about the controls. We have the help stream. We have interactions, jump. Quick save, quick load, inventory, menu, map, no tool. I don't know what that means. Okay, it just means probably empty your hands, but you just click one of the tools twice. It's fine. Rotate buildings and um, set X mouse wheel next item to build. Very good. Drill ship traveling. Choose a number of the landing site basic drill ship can reach. Only 1 to 11. 
And then, oh, basic. So that kind of implies that you have like uh, better drill ships or advanced drill ships. That's pretty cool. When time is getting close to zero and sirens go off, hit the go down lever to go directly underground. All right. So we actually have to hide this machine from the volcanic eruption. And then there's some YouTube videos you can see if you want a bigger guide. Anyway, claimed drill ships. We have received a distress call of a heavily damaged drill ship that will soon surface close to our location. Use this to our advantage and claim the drill ship. Main quest objectives, claim drill ships by placing ship core and upgrade. Okay, so we have everything with us. Let's go up. There's the drill ship coming out. 170 meters. It's literally just here on a little bit of a of a hill. Core. Walk into the drill ship. Core is rounded object on the wall. Claim drill ship. So we're gonna go to the drill ship. Click the core. There we go. There it is. Behind the building. And that will claim the drill ship. Okay. Look at it and press E. Core upgrade will be installed. Okay. So core upgrade will be installed the moment we click on the core on that beast. Okay. Now we're gonna need a shotgun because there's actually yeah you can see that there's robots already coming in they saw the machine coming out and they're interested in it as well they actually shoot guns as well so we have to be careful there's our friend ah i was just about to say there was a second one there we go. Nice. Okay, and look at that. Nice. Oh, what did the other one drop? I didn't loot the other one. Let's go back because they disappear after a while. There we go. Looting bodies is the best part of any game. No, I'm not having a dig at seven days today. <laughs> but looting bodies is still the best uh, uh, part of a game because you never know what you get. It's exciting. So let's click the core to claim it. There we go. Contact captains through the radio. So here's the radio now. So this drill ship has a similar setup as our submarine, except it's a drill ship. There we go. Radio. Do you want to click it? There we go. Repair drill ship. The drill ship is heavily damaged. You have to fix it first before using it to its full potential. Gather materials and use submarine devices to construct needed equipment. Main quest objective. Place module door, window productions and refinery to the drill ship. Okay. Equip repair tool by pressing one. Replace another distorted wa destroyed wall. Okay, so we should uh, uh, fix these walls here. So I don't know where we're gonna build the entrance doors, but this is the radio, so we can't actually do anything. So we're gonna fix this wall um, here, and I think we can refix one more wall. So I would say. One of these should be a door as well. So we're going to fix. Let me see which one is going to be least in the way. Yeah, we're going to fix this and then we can make that a door as well. Excellent. Okay, as you can see here, it would let us actually choose a station to install now that we have a valid wall. And it's what, that's what it wants us to do. So here we can install now the production tier. There we go. You can see it come out here. Wow, look at that. That is insane. Oh, and that's the storage one. So, oh, a bit of lag here. So that's why it needs so much power. That is insane. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, let's not deploy it. Look at that, nice. It's putting it away now. That is so cool. And then, no, let's not put it here. Oh, we don't have a choice, damn it. Um, here we have the refiner tier. There we go. We can turn it on and off here. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. And we don't need it on either. Drill ship is not fully operational. With production refinery systems running, you are capable of advance to advance in the island exploration if you lose the production module or any other important device, build new in the submarine. So our submarine is our backup where everything will always be working. Now we have to gather some resources. We have to find some more copper. And you can see the copper is actually right here beside us. And... That's where we have to bring it. Excellent. I really like that when you install the, the modules, they go up and down, you know, and um, they're actually visible on the outside. So, there we go. I'm gonna take a couple. Might as well finish that note and then queue up some things. 
Oh. Oh, put materials online. Sorry, yeah. So I was, I was having them on me. It's like, okay. It doesn't care if I have them on me or not. There we go. We're going to go into our storage. And we're going to put these guys in there. Excellent. Look at this. Beautiful. Deploy the power module. Okay. So we deploy that. And we're going to deploy that. No, that's the refinery. Not to deploy that. We have to deploy the power module. Excellent. So we can see here now we have 20 cores. Very good. You're out of coal. System has no uh, energy. Go out and get more coal. Get more coal. Get more coal. And then we have to place a coal to, into the drill ship. Coal correction description. Available coal. Available coal description. So there you go. A little bit of work needs to be done. Now this game, by the time you see it, I don't know if it's already in early access, but it is coming out very soon. I don't know the exact date if it's not out by the time you see the video. But uh, I'm going to make myself... Um, smarter about that so i can answer the question in a pinned comment underneath the video so i i remember i remember reading a date i just forgot it right now so anyway for the first episode guys i'm gonna leave this here look at that we actually oh look at that nice for the first episode we're gonna actually leave this here and um we're gonna heal up a little bit it was four. Oh, look at that he's using it it makes like an eating sound but he's just using it okay that's pretty cool Anyway, like I said, I'm going to leave it here for the first episode. I'm actually looking forward to playing a little bit more of that and see how far we can get in this game. And um, let me know in the comments below what you think. If you're looking forward to playing it yourself or if you want to see more or not, let me know in the comments below. As I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it and had a good time with the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming. Okay, there's more iron nodes here and the oh my balls there's more robots as well what is this down there is that different nodes oh we have to explore a little bit okay we have iron nodes here do they see me i don't think they see me if i'm at a safe distance so these guys are probably causing the volcanoes well most likely so let's see what that is what is that we don't get anything from it. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to go over the hill so that he doesn't he doesn't hit us. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's heal quickly. And then loot these guys. I don't know if they respawn or if there's... Oh, there's already more coming. That's not good. Nice. Oh, nice. This guy had, like, a window on him. <laughs> yeah, we carry around windows casually every now and then. A ship core start station. Okay. So, I think killing these guys is going to be the most fun. Oh. I still want to know what that is. Can I get this resource? Sulfur, yes! Oh, that's awesome. Energy low, open core module. Okay, we need to get coal, guys. Uh, we're in trouble. Okay, let's put the coal in the drill ship. Um, place coal to drill ship. No, we have to put it into the storage? Yes, okay. Put the sulfur in there as well, actually. Um, go underground. Return to your drill ship and hide from the eruption. Go down. 